in this presentation, you will learn the theorem related to a line parallel to one side of a triangle and intersect the other two sides to form a similar triangle to the original one, right? This is the line BC, right? And it intersects the AD and AE. So a triangle ABC is formed. So it has a relationship between the bigger triangle or the original one, ADE. Let us look at what the theorem says. If a line is parallel to one side of a triangle and intersects the other two sides, then the triangle formed is similar to the original triangle. The model is the one we have here. We are simply saying this line is parallel to, that is BC parallel to DE, right? The triangle A, B, C is formed. And the conclusion is the triangle A, B, C is similar to triangle A, D, E. In symbolic form, if BC is parallel to DE, that's our hypothesis, then we can safely conclude that A, B, C as a triangle is similar to A, D, E as a triangle, right? The proof of this theorem is as follows. The given is like we are given the parallel line, right? So we need to show that the two triangles are similar. And with that, we need to recall the test for similar triangle, right? And those tests are angle, angle, side, angle, side, and side, side, side. Then we are supposed to choose one that will suit the situation. And the choice is informed by the given information. The fact that you are given two uh, segments parallel, then the one that is obvious is to look for two angles that are equal and then conclude that the two triangles are similar, right? So the proof is a very quick one, right? It is very easy to identify the angle that is angle A, B, this one, A, B, C, is equals to angle in D, right? Why? Those are the corresponding angles, the F pattern of on the parallel lines and the transversal line is AD, right? Then we then find another angle and the angle that comes into mind is angle in A, which is um, common. Right, but it was not only A. You could have went to check on the one I'm going to put a dot in what? In green. That means this one is also equal to that. So you could have taken those to have as your second angle. It's still fine, but I chose A, which is common. Then that's my second angle. And from there, I conclude that the two triangles are similar and the theorem is complete. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe.